So while this is starting up, I'll get you to plug this cable down on the side. And the easiest way to remember how to uh, plug the cable in is just match the letters on the same side as the letters here. It goes, so there we go. Make sure it's in snug. Okay, great. After the cable's plugged in, we can do the device check. So select device check and then start. And because the cable is plugged in the device, it will allow you to, yeah, confirm. Anytime the circle is highlighted yellow, you need to confirm. And then this will take some time. It tells you what percent it's at. So now that we're waiting for the device check to complete, we're going to focus on the belt. Now, when you first assess your patient, you're gonna have used the tape measure to determine the proper size. In case you're not sure, where do I set this again? It says it right on the tape measure. So, right mid axilla. So apply that there. And then straight across, and you're going about one to two inches below the armpit, okay? And of course, you would do this on a patient's bare chest. But you basically pull this down, and you're looking at mid axilla on the other side. So where is that landing on the other side? So let's assume that we have medium as our size that we need. You can see this line here, so you need to line up the cable with the white lines so that the this uh, connection part here is on the outside of the, the belt. So you don't want to start it like this. You want to keep that on the outside. So starting like that, it's easier if you do it on a flat surface. So go ahead and connect these in a zigzag pattern. And you'll see why when, I'm, when we're done, I'll show you why it does the zigzag pattern. You'll see if you've connected them all properly, by the time you get to the end, you should actually be covering the same symbol that we saw on lead one. And they should be going in the same direction where the end of the lead is on the outside of the belt. So the reason why it's in a zigzag pattern is because when you have it on a patient's chest, if you think about this, as they breathe, their chest will expand. And watch what happens to the leads. It allows for the expansion. Okay, If you just connected these in a straight line, it wouldn't be able to move. One of the things I want to point out on the belt is right in the middle of the belt, you'll notice the raised area in the middle of the belt is actually where it needs to sit, right on the spine. So this has to be centered on the back of the spine, right there, okay? So for positioning, put it up near the head of the bed here, and usually above the patient's head. So because of all the lines, I like to tuck these pieces under the arms here like this, so get them away from the lines. When you bring it down, it's already below or else it gets stuck up top. At this point, you want to take the raised area that should be centered in the back, so one of you find it, and slide the belt so one of you lifts the patient's head, and the other one brings the spine or the raised area to the center of the neck, and then put the patient's head back down. Just so that you're in the optimal position that once you lift, you don't have to keep them in the raised position very long. You can lift them up and then slide the belt down. So the next step is what you're going to do is you on this side, you're going to put your arm under here and you're going to grab sort of onto this top shoulder here and you on this side. And when you lift the patient up, what one of you is going to do, and this will be you Anoush, is you can grab, bring your finger back and feel that raised piece before you lift. So go ahead and feel back there. You'll feel where that raised piece is. When you lift the patient up, you're both going to pull down, but your focus is going to be bringing that raised piece right down the center of the back. Okay, So you're going to try to feel the center of the patient's back, and then you're going to rest it there. And again, in terms of how low you're going, you want to sort of visually guide about one to two inches below the armpit is where you're going to want to come across. So you kind of have to eyeball it a bit. What you're going to do is then pull your area to two, again, one to two inches below the armpit. And when you pull that across, you just hold it firm, and then you follow up by pulling your end firm. So to prevent the patient's head from falling back when you lift, bring the head of the bed up a bit. Let my body drop, pull it up, pull it down. And then on my right, pull that around and under my armpit, but one to two inches under the armpit. Keeping in mind that the scrub top won't be there in the way of the patient. And then the patient go back down again. The contact just has to be there, it doesn't have to be tight, and it shouldn't be tight as long as the contacts are touching the skin. And then, you're going to apply the centerpiece. And then this is the reference, which we will need an ECG lead, just a standard ECG lead that they'd be using on the chest. And you apply it on the abdomen, and you just connect it on the abdomen. 
and that's placement. And you want to make sure that these two are relatively equidistant from the middle of the sternum, okay? So we have one and two. So you can do minor adjustments, like if you need mm -hmm. to. If you have to make a major adjustment, you do have to lift the patient back up again. So if it's very far, but this is very close. Mm -hmm. It's very close. So you'll have to remove it from the bottom where we connected it earlier. And the same thing with the letters. We're going to line them up with the letters again. So it's obvious that it's green with green, but if you do the letters on the same side, then it will, you'll always orientate the cable properly. There you go. The screen is ready now, and it doesn't say patient not connected or cable not connected, so then you go to the start standby screen, and then you would hit start, which at this point it's going to have some serious problems with connection because it's not touching my skin. <laughs> so all of these red dots mean that there's no contact, so which we're expecting. So that's how you apply the Palma Vista electrode belt and connect the electrode cable to the device.